Let's turn now to that blockbuster trial against Fox News for defamation that is set to begin tomorrow in a Delaware courtroom. Unless there's a last minute settlement, Dominion Voting Systems is suing Fox for $1.6 billion in damages for reporting baseless allegations about the company following the 2020 election. CVS's Scott McFarlane is outside the courthouse. The cable giant's biggest stars, plus Fox Corporation chair Rupert Murdoch, could take the stand this week as the company battles a defamation lawsuit filed by Dominion Voting Systems. Whether it's Dominion, uh, EBS, whatever the company, voting machine company is. The lawsuit alleges the network knowingly broadcast bogus claims Dominion's voting machines were used to rig the 2020 election in favor of then-candidate Joe Biden. What our next guest says is evidence of voter fraud. Sidney Powell is... As Fox Fox hosts and their frequent guests, Trump lawyers Sidney Powell and Rudy Giuliani, aired false claims following the election. Text messages show Tucker Carlson saying Powell is lying and Laura Ingram writing that Sidney's a complete nut. I think it could be very damaging to Fox's stars or to uh, Fox's big name executives, including and especially the Murdochs, to have to testify. Dominion's lawyers will argue Fox was worried about losing viewership and purposely let the false fraud claims continue on air. But proving defamation requires overwhelming evidence. What you're dealing with is a high bar, and it should be a high bar, for the simple reason that we want freedom of the press. A final round of jury selection is set for tomorrow morning, followed by opening statements, unless there is a last-minute settlement. Nora? Scott McFarland, thank you.